I got bored yesterday and decided I wanted to build a LEGO vacuum engine. Since I don't have any LEGO pneumatic cylinders, I had to build it all out of bricks. The design I came up with has two cylinders, two valves, and as you probably noticed, two crankshafts. The pistons and valves are all lined with tiles to allow them to seal and move smoothly. Now, as I noted before, there are two valves. This valve controls this upper cylinder, and this valve controls this lower cylinder. Here's the drawing to explain how it works. The piston is just a square block that slides back and forth in the cylinder, and there are connections to the valve. The valve is just two discs that slide through the tube and then cover and uncover holes that change whether it connects to the vacuum or the atmosphere. In the position I've drawn it, the vacuum would be attached to this port at the top and would come down through here and draw the piston to the left. This valve over here is in the dead center position where no vacuum is connected to either of the ports. And this, this piston is at the far end because it has just completed one stroke. As this piston pulls to the left, it will rotate this gear counterclockwise and also pull this valve to the left because they're connected. This will also be connected to the vacuum here. Um, it's not in the drawing, but that's the limitations of 2D. Um, the vacuum will be drawn through here and also draw this piston to the left. And this gear will be rotating clockwise and at the same time, it will be pulling this valve to the right. Once this piston has completed its stroke, this valve will be completed completely to the right. The discs will be in the position outlined in the dashed lines, and the vacuum will instead be routed to this side of the piston and draw it the other direction. But since the gear has rotated half a turn, this pin will now be on the bottom and it will continue rotating in the same direction. Unfortunately, I put this thing together before I realized how weak my parents' vacuum was, it's not strong enough to overcome the friction in this. But the valves and pistons still work anyway, so I figured the best way to show that it would work is by running it backwards with an electric motor. The outlet hole, or where, rather where the vacuum would be go in, is this hole here. And I'm going to put a piece of tissue paper over it. Now when I run the motor, since this is set up so the vacuum will be pulling out, um, the tissue paper should be blown away. And indeed it is. I know that was a bit hard to see from the front, so here it is again from the side. Now one of the nice things about the way I designed this engine is that it can be very easily reversed. Since the top crank controls both the top piston and the bottom valve, and the bottom crank controls the bottom piston and the top valve. All I need to do to make the engine run the other way is reverse the phase of top piston and bottom valve. Now the motor's still going to be turning the same way, but since the engine has been reversed mechanically, the air will now be sucked in instead of blown out. And again from the side. Now there's not really much else to it, so um, that's, I guess, the end of the video. If this gets enough likes, I might go and search for a shop vac and make this actually run the way it's supposed to and film that. And no, if you're wondering, it did not take me a month to build this mess. It actually only took me about two days. The rest of the time I've spent on other projects. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the result of those. And now I really don't have anything else to say, so good night.